goes, yes, and Van Vee left behind. Van Vee left behind a little bit there. If he goes on the attack down to the last corner, Perez really looking racy. Weber under attack from Alonso, and then Sebastian Vettel as well. Uh, We've got Rosberg in. Rosberg does come into the pit. So breaking it in as well. Breaking it in the Lotus. So the same thing behind the Lotus coming in. One or two from the back of the field, not surprisingly. So where is Button? Where is Button's in the pit as well. It's registered here. Okay, so Button is in the pit. He's looking for him. Good to see it. So he's come in as well. As Weber and Alonso are side by side. And second place for Sergio Perez. Alonso there up into third. All the way charging. Look at Massa. Massa gets past Sean Eric Fair. In the tour of Rosso. Look, Duffy. They'll be side by side on the exit. No, Massa has done it. So Button has done a, a pit stop. He's decided to come in to switch to the intermediate. And here we go. And again, there's a great Vettel down the inside of Weber. Yeah, he's got past his teammate, so Sebastian Vettel, but Weber's going to try and come back and he could go on the outside here. Weber does, he gets back past Vettel. Slipping and sliding in these wet conditions on the full wet tyres. Hamilton has to leave. Perez is in second place. Weber is now dropped to fourth behind Alonso, but he's kept his teammate behind him. Love to see teammates going wheel to wheel. The stakes are so much higher. When it's your teammate, it's Wessel gets Vettel so he gets very wide in between seven and eight. He gets out onto the artificial grass. So Vettel's struggling with getting these tires back uh, up to temperature for the restart here. And uh, Weber's got Alonso in his uh, his sights. And yeah, Max is doing well because he's catching up to the back of Vettel as well. Jean-Eric Fern has dropped back a little bit, but no great surprise in the Toro Rosso. Uh, he's still, I think, ahead of the Force India just behind him. Right, I'll tell you what's going to happen here, Ben. We've got Button obviously come into the intermediates. We're going to have to wait and see his middle sector time is going to give us an indication. Was it right or was it a bit early? Okay, Michael, do you think it's a time? Do you think it's a... Well, I think so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, he's got some 43.6 middle sector. We've got Hamilton 43.8 middle sector. So the intermediate yeah, is the right tyre. And Hamilton's in. Hamilton's in. So now the lap that Jensen Button does is absolutely crucial to the outcome of this race. Hamilton comes in. He's got to go for intermediate tyres now, surely. Perez leads this race. Sergio Perez, who was Sauber, leads an amazing Grand Prix. How about that? But Hamilton is in the pit. Alonso's in the pit. And Hamilton had a problem when he dropped the car. He had it. It was a very slow stop for Hamilton. And uh, Button's coming out of the last corner, and he gets further held in the pit lane there. So he might have just done enough for to hold Button, who's gone past their pit box. There's Button. Button's in front of Hamilton. So he's behind Alonso. Alonso has gained those Ferrari pit stops that were amazing this year. And Alonso has dropped ahead of Button. So he's breaking in there in front of the Red Bull. This is an amazing stop from Ferrari, but have they got a car that's fast enough to stay in front of the McLaren? Well, in these conditions, hard to tell. Perez, despite being on the, into the, uh, the full wet tyre, has just set fast his lap. So Perez leading this race for Salvar at the moment. Hasn't made his pit stop yet. These guys have stopped, of course, and Hamilton has lost out. Let's take a look. What went wrong here? He stopped a little bit long. Front axle was absolutely fine, and then look at the car was dropped late. And uh, was he told to wait? He was told to wait for uh, that master who yeah. came into his pit box. So yeah. just very unlucky.